Hello, uh, this question is about filtration. The question is a slurry of containing 20 kg dry solids per cubic meter, in other words, CS equal to 20 kg per cubic meter, flows across a filter medium with the area of 2 square meter at a constant rate of 2 times 10 to the minus 3 cubic meter per second. If the pressure drop was observed 3200 pascal and 7100 pascal after 160 and 550 seconds of filtration, respectively determine the specific cake resistance and filter medium resistance. Assume the viscosity of filtrate was 10 to the minus 3 pascal second. Okay, so here you have basically delta P time you know that after 160 seconds, delta P is equal to 3200 and after 550 seconds, delta P is equal to 7100. So using this data, you can calculate the equation of the line connecting this, the linear line connecting these two points. Okay, and that equation will be equal to delta P equal to 10T plus 1600. Okay, and so if you compare this equation, okay, with the uh, filtration equation under constant flow rate, that is delta P equal to mu alpha Cs divided by A2 times dV over dT with the power of 2 times T plus mu Rm divided by A dV over dT, you can conclude that this coefficient is equal to 10 and this one is equal to 1600. In other words, uh, in other words, mu alpha Cs divided by A2 times dV over dT with the power of 2 should be equal to 10, okay? And uh, so here you have all the parameters except alpha because you have mu, you have Cs, you have A and you have the rate. So if you substitute those va these values into this equation, you get instead of mu, I put 10 to the minus 3 times alpha, which is the question, times Cs, that is 20, uh, times uh, the rate with the power of 2, uh, which will be equal to, the rate is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 3, that is 2 times 10 to the minus 3, with the power of 2, divided by A square. A is 2 meter, so A square will be 4, that should be equal to 10. And from this equation, you can calculate alpha equal to 5 times 10 to the power of 8 uh, meter per kilogram. Okay, you can do the same to calculate the Rm. So in other words, you can write mu Rm uh, divided by A times dV over dT should be equal to 1600. Again, here you have all the parameters except Rm. So you basically put mu is 10 to the minus 3 times Rm, which is the unknown. Uh, divided by area, that is 2 times dV over dT, which is the uh, uh, 0.002, that should be equal to 1600. Therefore, uh, from this equation, you can calculate Rm equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of 9 per meter. And that is basically the solution to this uh, question.